You know, a common complaint among the elderly is bruising. A number of people have asked me what to do about bruising. This is a common complaint now in our elderly. As we age, skin tends to thin and bruising can occur even from a slight bump. Blood leaks from tiny blood vessels called capillaries and that collects under the skin and creates what we call a bruise. Bruising happens most frequently in people who are taking blood thinners or are taking low-dose aspirin. An obvious solution is don't take blood thinners or aspirin. You know, there are safe and effective alternative solutions to the same problems, drugs not required. Drugs are never required. Once you understand why we bruise, a solution can be found. Bruising is the result of what we call capillary fragility. Now the capillaries become weak and easily broken, leaking into the tissue spaces. The solution is to strengthen the capillaries so they don't break when you hit them. Once you are bruising, it is necessary to supplement with essential nutrients. Building strong capillaries is completely dependent on adequate amounts of vitamin C. The amino acids proline and lysine work synergistically with vitamin C to form collagen, which strengthens the tissues. Flavonoids like quercetin, essential fatty acids, and zinc are known to help reduce capillary fragility. Then there is vitamin K. Many elderly are deficient in vitamin K, and K is essential for optimizing the blood system. Doses of 50 to 100 micrograms of K2 per day have proven to be effective. On the bottom line, nobody should be bruising if they keep their body in good repair by giving it the nutrients it needs to build strong tissues. All aging and disease is a result of repair deficits. Read my book, The Great American Health Hoax. Learn how to keep your body in the repair mode so you age slowly and you don't develop the so-called diseases of aging.